Hi guys, my name is Fad Dad. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon. Always good to know that you are interested in the content that I'm producing. Helps me and encourages me to keep producing more content. Check this out. So imagine you're an investor in any area of the buying. How do you ensure that you are maintaining good rental income from the property that you own? It's very simple. Look, first of all, realign your mindset to understand that if rents are falling, generally speaking, in a city uh, for many reasons, such as huge supply on inventory, such as the economy not doing great, etc., etc., right? If the rents are falling, right now, you and your focus should not only be on how do I get the same rent that I was getting last year, but your focus should be you're in competition with all the other investors that have properties in the area. So how do you get better terms, a better rental amount per year, and at the end of the day, better tenant that's not gonna bounce their checks and they're gonna pay you on time, right? Okay. You're with me on this. This is where, for instance, let's pick, right behind me is downtown, right? There's gonna be a general rent on downtown properties on a one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom. It's gonna be pretty much the same across the board. Similarly, if you pick up JVC, Jumeirah Village Circle, the rent for a one, two, and three bedroom, it's kinda of gonna be dictated by the location and how far it is from the prime area of the city. But what's gonna help you differentiate and attract a higher rent, better terms, and a good tenant is now the quality of the building that your apartment is in, right? So what's the quality of the building? What's the maintenance? What's the location like? So let's just take downtown for example, right? If you have an apartment that's central in downtown but way inside so that the exit and entry is difficult, it's very common knowledge in Dubai that on weekends, on public holidays, and especially on New Year's Eve when like two million people descend onto downtown. Getting in and out of downtown is difficult, right? So this is where maybe having a location where good and easy access to the major artery is gonna be good. Similarly in JVC, there's one particular developer, we always joke about it and we say, this developer built downtown quality in Jumeirah Village Circle. I don't want to name the developer, even though I'm saying something good about them, but they built downtown quality in Jumeirah Village Circle. Guess which building commands a higher rent per square foot on the one, two, and three bedroom, uh, even now with better terms, um, better tenants. This particular developer, even though you're in JVC, you now command higher, better terms, rent, and a better tenant because the quality is better, because the maintenance is better, the amenities in the building is better, and the location in the building is better. And I can go down the list, the list is long. So here's what I need you to perhaps pay attention to when you're investing in Dubai. If you're looking at an asset in the same location, don't immediately choose and pick the cheapest one because the cheapest one might not pay you back in the long term. Happy investing, hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon. If you've got a particular question, put it in the comments. I personally, so far, am responding myself. If you email me, expect a 24 to 48 hour delay. I am apologetic about that. I try to get back to you ASAP. Sometimes I just can't, right? Talk to you soon. Hang tight.